let us take a look at the second one. Factor x cubed plus 5x squared minus 16x minus 80. We have four terms again, and all of them are unlike, and we do not have any common factor. So let's see if we can factor by grouping. We want to group the first two terms together. So we have x cubed plus 5 x squared in parentheses minus this should be a parenthesis close parenthesis minus and then group the last two terms together so we have 16 x again we need to change sign because the third term is minus 16 x so we turn it into plus 80 and now from the first group, we can factor out x squared, and then the leftover would be x plus 5 minus from the second group. We want to factor out 16. So the leftover would be x plus 5. In these two groups, now we have x plus 5. So we can further factor out x plus 5. And the leftover would be x squared minus 16. Oh, I made a mistake. I tried to erase that. So we have x plus 5 times x squared minus 16. Now, however, this time we can stop here because we can continue to factor. Let's take a look at the second factor, x squared minus 16. That is indeed the difference of two perfect squares. So we can turn it into x squared plus, I mean minus, sorry, minus 4 squared. And now we have x squared minus 4 squared. And so we can further factor out this expression and make it become x plus 4 times x minus 4 because when we factor out the a square minus b square and we will get the a plus b times a minus b. So the final answer will be x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x minus 4.